Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to take you through a real-timed Kegels exercise workout for men. Now, I'm not going to spend the time today going through how to do Kegel exercises. If you're not sure, check out my Kegels exercises for beginners above, which talks about the technique. This is actually intended to help you train and do the exercises for the right timing that's needed. Now, we're going to be exercising the slow twitch fibers and the fast twitch fibers or muscle cells in your pelvic floor. You have both types. The slow twitch fibers work slowly, they're endurance fibers, and they work continuously for extended periods of time, and they work just gently. The fast twitch fibers give us a strong contraction and a powerful contraction. So we're also gonna be doing some fast, strong contractions towards the end of this workout. So do what you can do, but make sure you stay with me for the fast contractions at the end, because they're really important too. All right, so we're gonna get started. I'd like you to be in the position that you'd like to be in, whether it's lying down on your side or on your back, or perhaps sitting, or you could also do these standing. Stay with me for the exercises as long as you can for each exercise, watching the timer that's going to be going through these exercises. If you need to stop, stop, and then start again. All right, now remember that the correct technique is to retract inwards as if a turtle is drawing its head inwards, and that's what you're doing with your body, as well as tightening and lifting around your opening. So around where the gas would pass, you're actually tightening and lifting inwards around that area as well. You're doing both things at the same time. You're also thinking about stopping the flow of urine. So if you're par imagining passing urine, you're stopping the flow. So you're doing all those things at once. Are you ready? All right, let's get started now. Ready? and start now, go. Retract and lift and squeeze, keep going. Keep going, keep breathing normally if you can. Now let's rest and relax. Take a nice deep breath in through your tummy and relax, let your pelvic floor down. Here's our next effort, here we go. Start now, see if you can do it strongly or just gently if you're starting out. Keep your breathing normal, keep going. Now relax down when you're ready. Take a deep breath into the belly and let your pelvic floor muscles completely relax. Now remember we're doing 10 contractions. Here comes our third repetition. Ready and start now. Retract inwards, squeeze the openings, keep going. Keep breathing normally if you can. Keep your buttocks relaxed. And relax down when you're finished. And once again, take a deep breath into the belly. And relax everything down so that the pelvic floor muscles are completely relaxed for your next effort. All right, here we go. We're just about halfway. Ready? Go. Contract. Start now. Lift inwards, keep lifting if you can, nearly there, and relax your muscles down. Nice big breath in and out, and just take a moment. So we're halfway now on our way to getting our contractions done. So if you're staying with me, you're doing really well. Remember we've got our strong ones coming up after this final part of our endurance training here. And remembering too, if you need to stop at any time, that's absolutely fine. All right, let's go again. Sitting tall, start now, go. Keep breathing, retract inwards, squeeze through your openings, tighten and squeeze, and relax downwards. Take a nice deep breath into the belly, and let it go. So your pelvic floor muscles relax and let go completely. All right, here's our next effort. Ready and go. Retract, tighten, squeeze, keep going. Keep breathing if you can. Keep it going. And now relax and let go. Big breath in and out. All right, we've got our last three exercises to go. So stay with me if you can. All right, ready? 
Here we go, start now, tighten, squeeze, retract. Keep going, keep going, you can do it. And relax completely, feel your belly relax, feel your pelvic floor relax. Take a deep breath into the belly and out. All right, here we go, second last one, go. Contract, strong if you can, tightening, squeezing and retracting and relax and let go. Take a deep breath in and out. All right, we've got our last long contraction for the day. I hope you've made it this far. If you haven't, that's absolutely fine too. All right, last contraction, big effort. Ready, retract, tighten and squeeze, go. Give it all you've got for this last effort. Keep going, keep contracting, and now relax. Take a nice deep breath in, into the belly. Let your pelvic floor relax completely. Breathe out. Now, remember I talked about finishing off with the strong contractions. These are also really important. So I'm going to count you through. These are one second contractions and we want to make these strong and really brisk to come on. So we're going to go retract and tighten the sphincter and then really quickly release it. All right, so I'm going to count you through for your 10 reps. Stay with me for as many as you can. Ready and go. Strong one and release. And again, number two, strong and release. Keep it going. Number three, strong and release. And four and release. And five. Now stay with it if you can. We've got five to go. Make these as strong as you can. Go, go, go. Nearly there. Five and four and three and two. I know I've snuck in an extra one. Let's do it. Go. Strong and back and relax. So there you have it. That is a complete routine. You've done 10 of your 10 second holds, so your long holds, and you've done one lot of 10 of your short holds. Ideally, you would try to do that between three to six times today, so being one of your training days, and you try and do that on three to four days of the week. So I'll write all these guidelines down below if you need to refer to them, but remembering you're doing a combination of your long, slow holds for endurance, plus also to your fast, strong contractions for power and strength through your pelvic floor. So I really hope this guided workout helps you with your timing of your Kegels. The exercises are often a little bit longer than what we think, aren't they? I also hope this provides you with some benefits in terms of making the gains that you want to make. And I'd really love to hear from you and hear how this program goes for you at home. If you'd like to leave me a comment below, that would be great. And if you'd like to give this video a like, I'd also really appreciate that because that helps other people find the video too. So thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.